Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The two most widely used history object methods are the history.back and history.forward methods. The history.back method, when combined with a button or clickable element, allows the user to return to the previously visited page in the history list. The history.forward method allows the user to move to the next URL in the history list. This method is also normally combined with a button or clickable element. If there is no next URL in the history list, the button will perform no action. The full list of history object methods are contained in the appendix section of the instruction manual. The following sample code will show you how to combine the history.back and history.forward methods with buttons. The browser will display two buttons that when clicked will execute the functions containing the two methods. To go back one page or to go forward one page if there is a URL contained in the history session. The script tag function go back with open and close parentheses curly bracket window dot history dot back open and close parentheses semicolon close curly bracket function go forward open and close parentheses curly bracket window dot history dot forward open and close parentheses semicolon close curly bracket close script tag, body tag, input tag with a type equal to quote button close quote, value equal to quote previous page close quote, on click equals quote go back open and close parentheses close quote, input tag type equals quote button close quote, Value equals quote next page close quote. On click equals quote go forward. Open and close parentheses close quote. And the close body tag. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.